drones. Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing. Drones could save lives faster than paramedics can. Researchers in Sweden have tested using drones to deliver automated external defibrillators to those suffering cardiac arrest. In many cases, patients are too far away from hospitals to seek immediate treatment, and drones could be a faster way to help them. An automated external defibrillator, also known as an AED, is a portable device that sends an electric shock to the heart in order to restore a normal rhythm in the event of sudden cardiac arrest. Swedish researchers attached an AED to an eight-rotor drone, which has autopilot and GPS functions. The device was also painted in a fluorescent color, similar to ambulances, to help people visually locate it. A person who suffers a cardiac arrest requires immediate medical treatment, as their chances of survival are reduced by 10% for every minute they don't receive CPR and defibrillation. The drone is able to deliver the AED in just over five minutes, compared to the average standard ambulance delivery time of 22 minutes. According to the American Heart Association, more than 350,000 cardiac arrests take place in the U.S. each year, but only about 10% of patients survive. Researchers hope to save untold numbers of lives by reducing the delivery time of AEDs. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. U.S. military targets ISIS with drone killer system. The U.S. Air Force has reportedly spent $15 million on Israeli-made anti-drone equipment that can counter the small drones used by ISIS as weapons. The drone guard system is equipped with drone detection and tracking algorithms. It also has 3D radars that can detect airborne targets from a range of 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers. Once the system detects a hostile drone, it emits jamming signals that can send the drone back to its point of origin or shut it down to make a crash landing. Israel Aerospace Industries said last year that it had sold the drone guard system to several customers, but did not disclose the details of the buyers. Selfie drone recognizes faces. A Chinese startup has developed a drone equipped with facial recognition technology that can be used to take aerial selfie shots. The hover camera passport can fly up to 17 miles per hour and climb as high as 16 feet. The device can be remotely controlled by a smartphone. 
One battery charge powers up to 10 minutes of flight time. The camera can capture images from all angles and automatically follows the user using its face detection software. The Hover Camera Passport retails for 599 US dollars, which is much cheaper than other drone cameras on the market with similar functions. Ambulance drones to save heart attack patients within minutes. Dubbing it, quote, ambulance drone, a student at a Dutch university has developed a flying defibrillator that can respond within minutes after a heart attack sets in. The ambulance drone is equipped with a camera and a GPS navigation system. Powered by six propellers, the drone can reach a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour. When someone suffers a heart attack, bystanders can call an emergency hotline and an ambulance drone is next dispatched. Using a camera mounted on the drone, a staffer can then instruct bystanders to attach the defibrillator to the patient. The drone can transport the device to someone in need inside a 12 kilometer zone within one minute significantly increasing the survival rate of patients. Apart from the defibrillator, the developer hopes that the drone will be able to carry other medical supplies, such as oxygen masks and insulin injections. The developer aims to create an ambulance drone network in the Netherlands within five years. British police are big fans of drones. A police force in the UK is set to launch the country's first 24-hour drone unit after completing successful trials of the technology. Devon and Cornwall police began testing DJI Inspire One drones in 2015. This model has a 360-degree rotating camera that takes HD photos and video. The pilot of the drone can watch live video on a screen on the drone's remote control. The DJI Inspire 1 can reach a maximum flight altitude of 4,500 meters and has a range of 5 kilometers from its pilot. On a full battery charge, the drone has a maximum flight time of 18 minutes. Among several uses for the drones, police believe they can help pursue suspects and record images at the scene of road traffic accidents. Devon and Cornwall police said drones can capture footage in hard-to-reach areas, such as woodland to find a missing person. According to London's Metropolitan Police Force, the cost of operating a police helicopter is 850 pounds per flying hour. Drones could help the police cut costs because the devices cost as little as a thousand pounds each. The only operating cost is recharging the battery. As many as 21 British police forces are reportedly experimenting with drones. The devices have been used by police to watch over the Duchess of Cambridge on a royal visit and even to chase a lynx that escaped from a zoo. Up, up and away. French researchers are developing a blimp-like drone in order to explore a newly discovered hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. The robotic drone is designed to squeeze through a 1.5-inch wide hole before unfolding and inflating on a docking station. The blimp model was chosen over conventional multi-rotor drones because it's safer for the surrounding environment during exploration. The drone can make contact with obstacles without damaging the monument. They are also more stable, which is important for taking photos in low-light conditions. The camera-equipped drone will be remotely operated by radio. However, it can also operate autonomously via small onboard sensors. No more photography duty for astronauts. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has developed a cute floating camera drone that can lighten the workload of astronauts on the International Space Station. The Int Ball weighs one kilo and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It uses the existing drone technology, miniaturized altitude control sensors and actuators in an all-in-one module. The Int Ball arrived at the International Space Station last month and is remotely controlled by the JAXA Tsukuba Space Center from the ground. In the future, the Int Ball is expected to take over photography duties from the space crew and will be able to operate autonomously. At the moment, astronauts on the ISS spend around 10% of their time just taking photos and videos. With this camera drone's help, they now perhaps will have a bit more personal time in space. Old Lang Syne takes on a whole new meaning in Japan. A Japanese security firm is working on a music drone to help curb the crazy overtime Japanese workers put in. Overwork in Japan is a major health and societal problem. 
The drone by Taisei will reportedly play Scottish folk song Old Lang Syne whenever it's time to punch out. It will perform sweeps of office buildings and should it detect workers staying late, it'll let rip with a popular New Year song. As if that isn't enough, the drone will also be kitted out with video cameras to record anyone working past finishing time. Old Lang Syne was penned by renowned Scottish poet Robert Burns in 1788. Wonder how he'd react to this news.